factor is trinomial, and it has a leading coefficient of a negative 1, which messes up a lot of students. But there's a really nice way to deal with it. What we're going to do is factor out a GCF, greatest common factor, of minus 1, or just a negative sign. Pull out the negative sign, and everything on the inside is going to switch signs. So this minus 6 becomes positive 6, x squared, minus x becomes plus x, plus 7 becomes minus 7. And then what we'll do is just factor this trinomial, and this uh, minus sign on the outside, we'll just tag it on at the end and multiply it to the result. So let's forget about it for now. We want to factor 6x squared plus x take away 7. So we look for factors of 6 times minus 7, which would be minus 42 that sum to the middle term of plus 1. Well, I know that 6 times 7 is going to give me negative 42 if I have one of these being negative, and I need them to add up to a positive one, so I want the bigger one to be the positive. So that looks like it's going to work. It adds up to positive 1, and it multiplies to negative 42. So we're going to use that in just a second. If you weren't sure about how to land on the minus 6 plus 7 as being what you want, then what you want to do is just write out the list. 1 times 42, 2 times 21, keep going like that until you run out of possibilities. And we always want to give the larger one a positive because we want them to add up to be a positive number and they have to be opposite sign factors because they're factors of a negative number. All right, so that's the first step in factoring a trinomial by grouping. The next step is to take our trinomial that we started with, 6x squared plus x take away 7, and use these two factors we just found to break up the middle term. So the middle term is going to become minus 6x plus 7x, which still equals plus x. So we do a rewrite step. Minus 6x plus 7x, and take away 7. And then we factor by grouping. So we group those two together and group these two together. And from the first two groups, or two terms here, we pull out a 6x. And we're left with x, take away 1. From the next one, we want to take out a 7, and we're left with x, take away 1 again, which is what we want because that gives us a common binomial pull out the common binomial, left over 6x plus 7, and we're almost done. We just need to reinsert that GCF that we pulled out at the beginning, which was the minus sign, and that would be our final answer.